Hello there engineers and welcome back to another PlayStation tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build your very first spaceship in the game. Now this won't be the prettiest ship in the world, but it will give you the bare essentials that you need to have a fully functional ship. So let's start off by actually flying down to this platform here. And I also want to turn on the, the toolbar and the UI so we can see better what we're doing. I'm going to press uh, L1 and the right D-pad to open that up. There we go. I'm going to hit triangle as well to uh, make sure we're walking around the platform. Uh, I mean, when it comes to, you can switch to third person with R1 and uh, up arrow, but in general, it's easier to build in first person. So I'm going to, again, switch back to first person with uh, R1 up arrow there. Now, the most important block to start off with is the landing gear. And that is to ensure that we don't accidentally knock our work in progress ship off into the void because with these smaller ships, you're actually able to push them with your character. Um, and until they have all the functional components, uh, they, will, they can actually end up drifting off out of control. So you wanna make sure that doesn't happen until you're ready by using a landing gear. So we're gonna open up the block selection uh, screen with the left analog stick by pressing it. Now, most of the blocks that you actually uh, need are, are in this first uh, tab in the recent blocks, at least by default. But we wanna find the landing gear. So we're gonna switch between these tabs um, with the triggers. So I'll be heavy armor here, production, and we wanna to get to ship essentials. And in here are actually a lot of ship essentials. So we want to move around until we get to the landing gear. And then we're going to do R1 to confirm that selection. Now, when we point at the large grids, we can actually see how this is making a large grid landing gear. And we're actually going to make a small ship to start with. And you can see if we hover over a smaller grid, it will actually switch to the, uh, the small landing gear. But what I actually want is a small grid landing gear floating in space above the, uh, the the large platform here. So to do that, I'm going to press L1 and square. And here we go. We have our a small grid landing gear now um, floating. And I want to make sure that the, the magnetic surface of this landing gear is actually on the platform. So that's where we come into the rotation controls, which you can see in the radial menu to my left here. And if we hit these uh, keys in the D-pad, we can see we're starting to rotate the block here. So I'm actually gonna make sure that we're lined up. I can also press L1 and R2 to change the placement mode from the kind of free placement to the gravity align. The gravity align is quite useful to make sure that we're really squared up with this platform. Once we're happy, we can then press uh, R2 or trigger, and that has placed that block. Now notice how um, we have the green light, which indicates that this is indeed locked the platform. So now we have that nice and secure, we can open up our block selection screen again with the left analog stick press. And here we have heavy armor, but I actually want to get the light armor because it's it's definitely better for these uh, smaller ships here. And I don't think this is going to be a combat vessel, so I think we're good with light armor. So uh, switch over to the armor panel tab and we want to go to the light armor. And here we can actually see, if you look at the top, the, vari the variance within that group, actually. This is not just one block. These tend to be uh, groups of blocks or variations. So we're going to select this top uh, light armor block um, group and confirm that. And just so you know, we can switch between the shapes here with the, the up arrow on the D-pad. And we can see we have the, the slope here, the corner, inverted corner, and, and many, many more. But for, the, for this uh, first kind of base, we're only gonna need the, the basic uh, armor block here. So that's the one we want. We're going to press uh, trigger to right trigger to actually place this. And now I just want to build out um, kind of a basic uh, platform here on top of this landing gear. So there's a kind of row of blocks. But before we go any further, I want to introduce to you guys symmetry mode because this will save you so much time 
when building uh, any kind of ships and stations, assuming there is some symmetry involved in them. So to, to access symmetry modes, we're going to press right stick, and this will bring up the other uh, build controls. We have some, um, some placement modes here, and what we actually want to find is the enter symmetry setup. So we're going to confirm that, and I'm going to turn on my jetpack right now so I can get some height and uh, move up. Now we can see here there's a plane, and if we go to the down on the on the D-pad, we can see those planes moving, and it's moving between uh, kind of centered in the middle of a block or centered at the edge of a block, and this actually depends on whether you want a single block to kind of be in the middle of a grid or if you want the middle of the grid to be between two blocks um so i mean it's more common i'd say to use the uh have one block be the middle block so we're going to switch back to where the plane where this is going to go along this this line of blocks we actually have to re-enter that setup here so hold on once you get to the end. And this first one is actually the one we want. So once we're happy with that, we can press the right um, uh, button on the D-pad. And now that is indeed locked. And now that it's locked, we can exit out of it. We can delete it firstly, with if you don't like it, with the, the left D-pad, but it's good. So we just want to exit out of this, um, this kind of setup mode for symmetry mode. And we're going to go the up arrow. So now that's set up, we're actually back to placing our blocks. I'm going to switch back to the normal armor block here. And again, um, you can see now that when we place blocks down, it automatically places it on the other side of the, the symmetry plane. And that's, again, it's so important when it, when it comes to building blocks, especially um, on bigger ships where you can't see what you're doing on the other side. With the symmetry mode, you can kind of rest easy knowing that those blocks are indeed getting placed they're gonna it's gonna save you a lot of time and to make sure that your ships are symmetrical if that's what you're going for of course so we're going to continue to build this platform out a little bit here i want to make sure that it's uh three blocks wide for this this starter ship there we go so this is uh this is kind of the the base of our small ship here now the next uh kind of blocks that we want is the is the cockpit actually the cockpit the key kind of control center for our grid so we're going to open up the block selection screen again and the cockpit block is right there along with all the variants so we're going to confirm that selection and we're going to rotate it so it's facing the other way there we go place that down so there's our cockpit next up is power so we have a couple of options in terms of power. Open up our block selection and we're going to go across to production and medical. And in this screen, we have um, our options are mainly a battery power, solar power and, uh, and reactors. And reactors uh, in survival mode, you need to actually use them with uranium, which must be found mined, refined and processed into ingots which can then be put into these reactors. In creator mode it will work just fine. Um, solar panels is obviously pretty straightforward there but batteries is what I'm going to use for this example because when you make a battery it actually comes with some power already inside it. So we're going to uh, confirm the battery cell here and place this large battery just here behind the um, cockpit next up gyroscope and this allows us to control the the kind of uh, panning of the ship and the rolling of the ship and the more gyroscopes you have the better it will uh, the more maneuver it will be i'm only going to put down one because it's quite a compact ship but the bigger ships that you have the more gyroscopes and power you'll need and also thrusters and thrusters is what we need to place down next. So we've got one gyroscope, which should be enough for this uh, for this smaller grid. So opening up our block selection screen, uh, there's also three types of thrusters. We have ion thrusters, atmospheric thrusters, and hydrogen thrusters. Now, ions will only work in space. Uh, hydrogens work in both space and in atmosphere, and atmospheric, well, work only in atmosphere. 
And as we're only going to build a small spacecraft here, uh, space fairing, just only space, we're going to use the ion thrusters. So I'm going to confirm these. Again, there's a large one here and a small one. And for this grid, I'm just going to stick the small ones. An important thing about building ships and space engineers is that you actually need to have a thruster uh, in every direction, at least one. And obviously to balance it, you, you probably want to have multiple. Um, so let's start off here by having ones facing back. So we're going to put down three here. Okay, that's our forward thrust done. Uh, now we're going to rotate. Oh, well, we can rotate that way and do the the down the upward thrust. So I'm going to put down we'll put down three here. Uh, oh, change the plane there. Hold on, we're going to do it like this. Now we got three downwards. We need side thrusters. Probably going to change the there we go. And luckily, again, with symmetry mode, it's placing these facing out the same way. So it's all sorted there. So I don't have to worry about it. And finally, I will place some uh, some reverse thrusters here, kind of at the front. So I'm going to, there we go. I'll put four like that there. So we have much better stopping, <laughs> stopping speed. It's quite useful to have. So actually, now we have thrusters pointing in all directions. And you don't need to have the same. You can have more forward thrust, for example. But in this instance, it's it's actually... Well, in fact, let me add some more forward thrust because actually I think there's more thrust in every other direction. So I'm going to just add another three forward uh, power, forward facing or forward reverse facing, but uh, forward powered uh, thrusters here. So there's our thrusters in all directions. I can drop down back off my jetpack. And... Um, that ship is now ready to fly. It is completely, that's all you need. Again, it's not pretty. I'm just gonna empty my hands here. But that is simply all you need to have a, a working ship. And the next thing to do is to test it out and see how it flies. So we're gonna come over to the cockpit, hit square. Now, one thing to note is that the landing gear is locked. And you can see this with an icon just behind my head here. So you want to we want you want to toggle the landing gear, and we can uh, we can actually do that with the triangle button. You can see I'm toggling it on and off. So the landing gear is now disabled, and now we can use uh, well it's actually auto enabled, so it will come back on after a time. But if I quickly disable it with triangle, and then I uh, go up with X, I am now free to fly around. There we go. And I'm going to change to third person mode with uh, view with R1 and up arrow. So you can see our glorious ship. And now, as you can see, it's working. It's flying, it's stopping, and everything is looking good. There we are. Now, of course, this ship could uh, be converted into a mining ship. We could have some drills on it. It could be a cargo ship. It could be a even a fighter. Add some weapons. So it's this kind of this uh, this base which can now uh, become anything that I would want it to be. But that is the main uh, the main fundamentals required. And I think now if you can just remember these key parts from here, uh, it's where the real fun begins in terms of customizing and making it really into your dream ship. You should remember, though, that the bigger your ship gets, the more power you'll need, the more uh, thrusters and the more gyroscopes you'll need to kind of maintain uh, a good maneuverability and acceleration and also stopping speed. Don't forget the stopping speed. <laughs> that really is uh, an important one. So uh, we're going to land this now and we're going to use the circle button. We're going to come down. Then when we're on the surface of the platform, it will automatically lock because that's the way the landing gears are set up by default. So now we can exit the ship with a square and you can see our ship is locked again and I can run into this and this ship is actually not going to move. It's magnetically locked the surface. And yeah, that really is the, the fundamentals. And what I can do as a bonus here, I can show you guys how to start to color your ships and paint, give it a kind of a finishing uh, lick of paint. So we're going to actually uh, press the R1 button and then the down arrow. So 
It's going to bring up our color picker, which we can then we can uh, move around the different colors using the uh, the D-pad here or the uh, the left analog stick. So let's 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 paint it blue like these other ships behind us here. So I'll select this blue here. There we go. And I can back out of this, and we have the paint screen open. And now all we have to do is um, press trigger, the right trigger, and we're starting to paint individual blocks here. And of course we can use a mix of colors. I can switch here to yellow, yellow and blue. That's actually quite common with these, uh, these ships on the platform. If I want to color larger areas, then I can hold down R1 or L1 here to, to quickly paint bigger areas here. So I can do that and now it's actually painting uh, larger areas, so it really speeds up the process of uh, painting. Now the whole ship is blue. So obviously, well, not, there we go. Now the whole ship is blue. So that's a, that's a quick way there to, to color your ship. And of course, there's different skins that you can select, which will change the, the visuals quite a bit. Everything from more sci-fi in detail to industrial to rusty. So there's a lot of customization just from the painting of the blocks. And um, yeah, hopefully this actually, uh, this first ship video has, has helped you and you can get started building awesome ships and uh, getting them out there for the rest of the community to see. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.